Zola, do you ever think about what Africa would look like in the next 50 or 100 years? Africa? What's there to think about Africa? I mean, I'm here to figure out my life, not to talk of almighty Africa. Anyway, why do you ask? Well, given the situation of Africa in the past, and I wonder if things would get better by then. You know, I read in the news that in some parts of Africa, people don't even have access to good schools, proper healthcare, and even basic amenities everyone should have. Hmm, 50 years is a long time, but I believe things will be better then. Me too. Hmm, you know, sometimes, I just wish I had the power to change things. As African youth, we have the power to create the Africa we want. My goods have been there for over five months. I haven't been able to trade because they've shut down the borders. Wow, Tale, you are still worried about your goods. My business has been shut down because of inadequate power supply. I wonder when we'll have steady power supply in this part of Africa, eh? I wonder too. It's just so annoying. <laughs> We desire and demand an Africa that is peaceful and secure. An Africa where young and old, men and women, girls and boys from all walks of life are united in their diversity. An Africa whose growth and development are sustainable and inclusive, benefiting and bringing prosperity to all its citizens. An integrated continent politically united, based on the ideals of Pan-Africanism and the vision of Africa's renaissance. An Africa where good governance, democracy, respect for human rights, justice and the rule of law are the guiding principles of our societies. This is an Africa where we are confident in our identity, heritage and culture and shared values. A very thriving Africa where young people contribute at all levels of society. And ultimately, an Africa which is an influential global player responsible for managing her resources and financing her peace and development. Let us unite to build the Africa we want. Visit www.au.int to learn more about Agenda 2063.